welcome back. It is the second map between Titan and Insomnia. It is Echo Isles and uh, Insomnia is probably going to feel quite confident after the way the first map went, which uh, was very clearly in his favor. Altar first for him again, of course, we're gonna see the AM. And uh, other than that, he's going for the exact same opening as he did on uh, TS, which is not a huge surprise, obviously. And Titan is again going for a Tavern Hero build order. Ancient of War, this time inside of his base, which definitely tells us that it should probably not be a Panda, because to creep the Panda properly, usually an Ancient of War is an Ancient of War creep is required, but uh, maybe Titan is gonna surprise us here and go for the Panda again, which, as I just said, I think is unlikely. And especially after the way the first map went, I guess there is great incentive for uh, Titan to change up his playstyle. Scout farm being built by uh, Insomnia. He's on TS as well. He's been pretty... Um, actively building farms out on the map, not just inside of his uh, main base, barracks finished, AM coming, Altar coming right now for the Night Elf as well, and the Ancient War is gonna finish and is going to produce the first Archer immediately. Scouts um, passing each other. I guess neither of the players is going to find anything particularly surprising. And yeah, Wisp is heading towards the middle, so he's gonna pick up his hero there. First Arch is out, Insomnia now knows that it is once again going to be a tavern hero for the Russian. Whereas his AM is out, he is uh, starting with yeah the small green camp only, not going for um, the very um, ambitious and uh, you know less economic early. Um, mercenary camp creep and it is the Dark Ranger for Titan this time. I guess not a big surprise. And with that, as it appears, he's gonna creep this one and then he's gonna have a bunch of skeletons and he can continue heading down th um, the map either to the Murloc spot or to the mercenary camp. Looks like he's gonna save as much mana as... Okay, never mind. <laughs> for a second I was thinking that he was just gonna use the... Dark Arrow to finish the creeps, but he just took a little while to activate it. So another scout farm by Insomnia in the middle, with being chased away. AM continues creeping, so we get level 2 here. This time Ring of Protection for him, which is quite crappy. And actually he's going for a very quick uh, creep at the natural expansion. It is an archer heading down the map here. Tier 2 is coming. Scout Wisp heading across the map. And we'll see another farm probably being placed down here somewhere. So Insomnia cannot be surprised by a Night Death army heading across the bottom of the map. And of course this opens up the chance for Titan to go for an expansion eventually. And they are talking about expansions. Insomnia is going to do the same thing. The Wisp here, is he gonna, yeah, he is gonna build a Tree of Life down here. Of course, not a big surprise after um, Titan has crept his natural previously. So Dark Ranger this time is, um, you know, at the right place at the right time, but so is Insomnia, so we'll see how much damage uh, Titan's actually gonna be able to do. And again, Insomnia is going for the very, very quick defense upgrade, and this means, um, that Titan shouldn't be able to achieve too much in terms of like really breaking this expansion. So he's trying to just harass and get a couple of peasants sniped out. But so far Insomnia is handling this pretty well. Uh, bring in another bunch of militia, sending a bunch of peasants back. It looks like none of them is gonna fall. Of course, again, no tower inside his main base early on. So he's gonna wanna uh, defend that with only his footman, but of course, since he's got a defense upgrade, uh, he doesn't really need any super early towers. One of the peasants gets sniped out right now, the second one is probably going to be sniped out as well. In the meantime, the expansion halfway up already for Titan. 
and yeah as previously mentioned he's gonna get this kill and other than that probably not too much insomnia is kind of mispositioned here with this am i think he should have moved down here um straight to his expansion again because it was very obvious that titan was gonna come in here and now he's probably even gonna get the cancel on the arcane tower and um all of a sudden this might shape up to be a pretty decent early game for titan at the same time Four footmen heading across the map here, scouting the Tree of Life. But is this still going to be in time to get the cancel? I think it probably isn't. And the AM is not going to join those footmen. He's going to head back to defend his own expansion, which he definitely needs to do. Naga second picked up for uh, for Titan. So finally some somewhat decent damage output against the defend footmen, of course, with these four skeletons that he's got on the field right now. Um, he slowly starts to snowballing this human army repositioning right now trying to go for the peasants again knight is still a little while to go and he's actually gonna get the kill here on the tree of life as it appears no wisp around to repair whatsoever so titan is going to lose his counter expansion expansion here and he's oh, very awkwardly positioning his uh, his Archers and actually losing his Dark Rangers. Sorry for missing that, but so much stuff is happening here at the same time. So all of the Archers are low HP. Titan has to pull back with everything, losing one more Archer here on the retreat. We do see two more Archer Corpses plus the Dark Ranger, plus the Tree of Life killed. So um, never mind me saying that this is a decent early game for Titan because um, there was a totally incorrect call even the next archer is going down here uh, shadow melt is coming just a brief moment too late so insomnia is now finally getting his expansion up of course delayed by a lot as well uh, this time one ancient of lore is in production already another tree of life is being built here in front of the mercenary camp as uh, the footman is still sitting here in front of titan's natural and is always able to scout this, obviously. AM, very nicely leveled already. Level 4 for him. Naga, 1.5. Dark Ranger, should be somewhat close to level 3, but not quite yet. Second lore is coming as well. Naga, very risky here, just heading across the map all by herself. And the lone level 1 Naga against the level 4 AM. And 5, 6... Seven uh, footman isn't going to be able to do too much. AM picked up inward portion and the scroll of healing, and he found the wind of illusion, which he uh, kept here surprisingly. Job done. So yeah, what's the plan here for Titan? He's got a. He's probably going to establish his counter expansion once he's you know got a couple drives out and once he's able to really work with his tech advantage. But then again, against this number of defense footmen, I think he's he should be going for tier 3 rather quickly here because Dryads are only going to get him so far against defense footmen. So I think Quick Bears would be the better option. But for now, he's going to stay on tier 2, getting the kill on one more uh, peasant, which is not going to be game deciding, obviously. And uh, he's got a pullback already again. The footman has now scouted this expansion, but of course he is not going to be able to do too much about it. But uh, the rest of the human army obviously is Insomnia splitting his army again, keeping three footmen here. One tower is also being upgraded once again. Whereas another four footmen together with the AM are heading across the map here in order to, you know, harass this tree of life. Um... At the very least, he's going to be able to prevent the gold mine from being entangled. But I think he's just going to go for the snipe on the Tree of Life here. And I think he's, he should be successful here. Casting an illusion on the AM right now, just preventing the Tree of Life from rooting here. And that's horrible news, of course, because uh, with the heavy armor, he's going to take a lot more damage than um, he would with... Um, Fortified armor. Tier 2 once again reached pretty quickly for Insomnia. He's getting the Mountain King second and he's gonna try and do a bit of damage here and I think he's gonna be successful in doing so but at the same time he's gonna lose his Tree of Life which is going to be a horrible horrible trade. Now the Tree of Life is finally able to root but um, that's not gonna save him. Once again the Tree of Life is going down. TP is coming in by Insomnia. Yeah he lost his entire peasant line inside of his main 
but getting the tree of life killed in return is of course a uh, very much acceptable trade for the human player he's score used by him right now he's got dm and a bunch of defense footmen actually not too many remaining as he's pretty much given the three defense footmen which he left on the left hand side of the map for free to his opponent Dryad is gonna fall here and he easily has the resources right now to um, build a couple of towers at both of his bases and um, yeah secure those against the harassment of a titan because he doesn't wanna end up uh, losing this game like fire de did against nightwolf if you remember that where nightwolf was just hit uh, doing hit and run against both the human bases over and over and over again because of the lack of towers so town portal is right now going to be used yeah, another bunch of uh, peasants has fallen actually only one peasant has fallen ah never mind of course the corpses don't um, stay on the ground because of the dark arrow so a few peasants have fallen again but again nothing game designing tree of life is coming for the third time right now for titan another clarity has been used on the naga and slowly but steadily he's gathering more and more experience on his heroes as well just he's still tier 2 only for him though and against the two base human if he secures both of his bases properly i mean what's great about drides only is of course that um, they are very fast moving and they have great mobility but if he's not able to um, do hit and runs and harass very efficiently then he's got no chance with only drides against a two base human with uh, you know either the more conventional um, breaker caster mortar unit mix or um, the stuff insomnia really likes to go for with um, the tier 3 unit mix so insomnia is getting the second camp in the middle here he's previously crept this one already and now he's gonna get the marketplace which is of course great because those are basically the contested creep camps and if the human player is going for the fast expansion then usually um, the night dev has enough map control to get both of these and the fact that titan didn't get either really tells a lot already greater mana potion for their mountain king which is great and he's probably gonna be or is he gonna be able to force the town portal here there would be enough uh, mana on the naga to slow this am forever and therefore yeah town portal is being used there are way too many skeletons for insomnia to take this fight and therefore he's uh, making the right decision here by town portaling out so he's got the second arcane sanctum in production one has finished already workshop has finished as well and it looks like he's gonna stay here too this time so he's got one tower here which i think is not enough a second one is coming but i guess there's no reason for him not to invest into like two more towers it's not a lot and it's gonna be completely securing his base against any potential uh, he then runs with the heroes and the dryads. Job's done. Job's He's even done. building a rifleman as well, which, you know, against a dryad only army is not the worst uh, idea. So it's up at 59 supply already against 48 by Titan, who finally has his uh, Tree of Life up again, who's gonna get his counter expansion running. First, Bear is. Uh, has joined the army and he's closing in on tier 3 so at least that's finally uh, something going for him he's gonna get his tech up in time but the question is is he gonna have enough of an army to fend off the humans tier 2 push and we'll find out about that eventually am is closing in on level 5 already no xp tom here only tome of intelligence level 2 for the mountain king finally and uh, once again titan on the right track trying to punish insomnia for taking the creep camp but then again insomnia is so close to his own um, expansion that titan shouldn't really be able to uh, do too much about him creeping that one fork lightning gets rid of one of the footmen but these are you know not too useful units anymore anyway since uh, master bears are gonna be ready in a second staff being used to save the bear here after the bolt was thrown on him so counter expansion is finally running at full capacity another bear get 
get, uh, gets picked off here on the way, level 5 for the AM. There are two year scrolls, one invo potion, still one charge of the Wayne of Illusion. Boots on the Mountain King, so he's always going to be able to chase down stuff and Panda third for Titan. Okay, I'm not really sure how much uh, of how much use that one's going to be. Uh, since he's only level 1 and there are two year scrolls, so not sure if I agree with this decision. I mean, Dark Ranger, Naga are not really the greatest late game heroes, but then again, it's Echo Isles, and well, if he got the time to solo creep the panda, he could still get him up to level 3, but I'm assuming he's not going to be given that time. So, uh, Insomnia is now coming in 58 supply. Uh, uh, for uh, Titan against 76 for Insomnia. He's catching one barrier on the way. It's getting picked off immediately. Mountain King, two and a half, gets silenced. Panda is coming in. Fork Lightning is going on to the Footman. Breath of Fire as well. And two of the Footmen are going down immediately. And I don't really like this fighting position for the human scroll of protection. And the first he scroll has been used right now. The Panda is being the target. Uh, Staff should be available for uh, Titan to use to uh, save his Panda. Bolt is coming in and he's not using the staff in time. So Panda is falling and the number of bears simply seems to be too low. Uh, first of them is going down. The Mountain King is also taking a ton of damage and he actually has no items to save him here. Heal score used by the AM and the level up just saves him here in time. No more mana on the Naga, so no more Fork Lightning uh, available. And the next bear is probably also Going to fall, Staff of Preservation passed here onto the Naga so he can use that to save the bear. Bolt goes onto the Dark Ranger and now she's in trouble. If he casts Rejuvenation, it's going to be dispelled immediately or stolen even immediately, potentially on the Mountain King, getting him back up to like almost full health. So Rejuvenation was not an option there. Town Portling was the only choice Titan had. And that's going to expose his expansion here a little bit. Breaker is probably going to... Okay, no, he's microing him properly to the back of his army. The priest should actually be uh, told to manually heal the Breaker, which is what Insomnia is doing right now. So this Breaker is going to be probably just fine. But at the same time, Titan is coming in from the top again. And Insomnia is town pulling out, not willing to take that fight after achieving everything he wanted to, which was get rid of the expansion for the third time. So Insomnia is looking very, very strong here. Level 3 on uh, the MK in the meantime, obviously. We've seen that happening during the fight. Insomnia can heal up right now, get new scrolls if he wants to, and probably prepare the final blow. In the meantime, the panda is solo creeping here. So yeah, level 3 on him would of course be a huge help for um, Titan. But this creep camp is not quite going to be, not be enough, I believe. Dark Ranger wanted to do some shopping, but with the entire human army there, there's no way in hell that uh, she was going to get anything. So new town port has been bought by Insomnia. He's got one heal scroll. He bought himself a new info portion on the Mountain King. And he's got full mana again. He still has the greater mana pot, so he can throw basically as many bolts as he wants to. By the way, zero one upgrades on the breakers, nothing on mortars and riflemen against um, zero zero upgrades on the dryads. So a slight upgrade advantage for um, Insomnia as well, the Tree of Eternity does have 7 armor already, so he's got the Nature's Blessing, and he's not rebuilding the Tree of Life, so it look, I'm assuming he's gonna stay passive until his main runs out, and then he's gonna try and establish a second base. Whereas Insomnia, he didn't really creep everything yet, but he seems to be satisfied with just having the shop control for now. He's probably waited for the second heal scroll, which he picked up by now, and this seems to be all he wanted to get before going for the push again. He sees the expansion is not being rebuilt. Um, the panda, oh, he actually, it was enough for level three. Okay, fair enough. Uh, he's got the ring of regeneration and the period of vitality, so a little bit of survivability for him, which is certainly not going to hurt him as he's always gonna be in the front in uh, the upcoming battles. The wisp being detonated here. 1-1 one, one upgrade finished in the meantime for Insomnia. 
And yeah, for him, there's no reason to really rush it. He's got the economy advantage and as long as um, Titan isn't going for his expansion again, there's not really any reason for him to, you know, get overly aggressive or to go overboard with anything. 78 supply. Still for him, let's see if uh, Dark Ranger gets some nice items. He's picking up one he scroll at the moment. 72 against 77 supply, so somehow um, Titan is even catching up. But of course, at this point, Insomnia doesn't want to go into high upkeep too early. I'm assuming he's eventually gonna, gonna do so. But not for now. He invested into a lot of items. He invested into a few upgrades. Let's see, where's the blacksmith? It's here, yeah. 2 1 upgrade is coming. That's, ah, uh, yeah, he does have a town portal on the mountain king, even so. Some very nice awareness here by Insomnia. Going for some shopping with his. Oh, wow. Okay. That's some decent focus fire. Three sorceresses are going down here, and the period of vitality is just lying on the ground there. Uh, I was just about to say, giving the TP to the Mountain King was a very, very nice move because that could have been a potentially uh, game deciding mistake here by Insomnia, getting creep check without a town portal, without his AM being there. So we'll see Blizzard by the AM right now. And actually, after losing these three sorceresses, is Insomnia still going to be able to overpower Titan? You know, Pre before this creep check, I would have said easily, but after this one, I think things might get a little, a little harder for the human. He lost three sorceresses, he lost the town portal, he's given the item. Oh wow, okay, he's not given the item to uh, Titan actually, because Titan didn't pick it up either. Uh, but still, that was of course very, very expensive for uh, Insomnia. I guess second he score is probably going to be purchased soon. And uh, the invo portion did go to the Naga as well already. The flowers of magic are so now it is the Night Elf all of a sudden who's sitting in front of the uh, Goblin Merchant in the middle. Whereas the human is creeping the remainders of his half of the map. Mountain King has reached level 4. Uh, I'm assuming with uh, Blizzard and Clap. Yeah, he's got Clap second. Um, He's going to want to work really nicely against these bears. So level 4 certainly helps him out there. And um, of course with the greater mana potion he's going to be able to use quite a lot of spells with his Mountain King. Close attack plus 6. Well at this stage of the game it's rather useless because the AM is going to be casting Blizzard. And the Mountain King is not really a heavy hitter anyway. So he's, I'm assuming he's going to want to sell that. 433 on the Night Elf Heroes, 5.5 and, and say 4.3 on the Human Heroes. Still no upgrades for um, Titan and now he's ran out of Golden Cam. The Tree of Eternity is marching down. So now is going to be the time Insomnia is going to want to take a fight. He's getting the first attack upgrade for Rifleman. Oh, well, he's got one Rifleman. And for the Mortar teams as well. He's got 2-2 two, two in the meantime. He's got a pretty decently rounded army. And of course, it's going to depend a lot on uh, the position the players choose to fight in. 92 supply for Insomnia, who has broken into high upkeep in the meantime. Of course, he's going to want to spend all of his gold before going into a um, potentially deciding fight of this game. Just uh, checking the heroes on uh, the items on uh, Titan's heroes. Of course, he can do so because he's got the flare on the Mortar teams, which he can use over and over again to reveal here in the middle to know exactly what's going on with um, you know his opponent's army and his opponent's economic situation over here. And yeah, Titan, of course, has ten thousand gold still in his mind, so he's not the one under pressure here. Another heal scroll bought by him, so he's got four, no, 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 three heal scrolls, okay. He just uh, passed one from the panda onto the naga, just as I was clicking on her. I smell magic in the air. Against, yeah, still two heal scrolls, one protection scroll, one invul potion, plenty of breakers for insomnia, a huge fight is going to break out here. Um, Titan still 
only on AD supply. Of course, he spent all of his gold. He's got his wisps here. He's got everything he's got on the field right now in this fight. And right now it starts. The first bear is taking a ton of damage immediately. The first stride is being killed by the mortars within split seconds. Blizzard is doing so much damage. The panda's breath of fire was okay-ish. AM actually very far in the front, but the bears are taking so much damage by Blizzard and Clap. The mortar teams are doing a great job. The breaker line is still standing strong. He's for wise. There still is one for Insomnia, which he used just now. He's going to be forced to town pot with the AM if he doesn't want to lose that one. And he does so level 6 on him. But what a great trade for the human player. 43 supply for Titan remaining and 81 still for Insomnia. So the position, even though it wasn't it wasn't a narrow space at all, it was still very, very good. Insomnia did, except for the Breath of Fire, Insomnia did basically not take any damage on the weak part of his army, which are his casters and his mortar teams. The Bears were just fighting against the Breakers straight up and the 2-2 two -two Breakers against only 1-0 Bears together with the Heal Scrolls, together with the Clap of the Mountain King and the Blizzard were just ripping the Bears to, th to, th to shreds, I'm sorry, uh, while the Mortar teams were taking care of the Dryads. So a very, very good fight by Insomnia. A bit sloppy by Titan, uh, just basically A-moving there, not, you know marching through the uh, human army at least with his strides to try and snipe uh, the casters to try and force the mortar teams to reposition etc etc so uh, next up is going to be the big push by insomnia against the expansion of titan and it's gonna be a daunting task holding that push bolt goes on to the dark ranger immediately Blizzard once again, there are so many breakers for the human player. Silence used on both of the human heroes. The Mountain King is reaching level 5. He's gonna have some huge nuking abilities right now. Staff used onto the panda, but the bear is probably gonna fall unless... No, bear is gonna fall. Um, Staff of Preservation cannot be passed here in time. Um, onto the next hero in order to save the bear. Inward portion used here by the panda. He doesn't even dare waiting for the bolt. To be thrown, Panda gets out safely, but at the same time, how is he supposed to hold this expansion as Insomnia is going to take it down with full force? The Night of Heroes are coming in from the top again. He's now going for the caster Silence, nicely used on the Mountain King, so he's going to have a little bit of time to work with. Still didn't get a single unit killed. Staff used onto the Panda, but of course, he's not getting to his Moonbase. He's just getting to the bottom of the fight. Fork Lightning is coming in. Finally some units are dying of insomnia but it's probably not going to be enough the naga is getting killed by a clap and one more hit of the mountain king at the same time the panda is falling everything is dying of uh, titan and insomnia is very safely taking this best of three winning with 2-0 against titan which means both of them are currently having six points both of them still with every you know with all the options um, on the last play day, Insomnia is going to face uh, Lily C, and Titan is going to face uh, Mew, I believe. Yeah, Titan is going to face Mew on play day five. So, um, yeah, both of them having to play another Night Elf versus um, Human, and um, yeah, both of them, of course with um, more or less theoretically similar chances of advancing at this point. So uh, on this map, um, I think the early game was very, the, the very early game was very back and forth, but then Insomnia uh, more and more was able to get a bigger and bigger advantage, canceling the expansion of Titan over and over again, um, getting into a huge lead in terms of army size, and then you know, thanks to, actually, it was basically only the one creep check, I think. Um, Titan got himself into a position where at least he was able to get a somewhat close, uh, let's say, somewhat close fight, theoretically, if he had microed uh, everything to its fullest potential, which he clearly didn't. 
Um, therefore, Insomnia winning the fight in the middle there in a very, very convincing fashion. And afterwards, of course, easily taking the game. And that means, as I previously mentioned, both on six points. And the next best of three we're going to see is, is going to be between Miu and Thomas G. So I hope you like this. If you did, then give a thumbs up and subscribe and comment. And I'll see you for the next best of three. Bye.